it is hump day. It is Wednesday. I'm not gonna lie, feeling pretty tired today. Baby girl didn't sleep all that great. Today is core and arms and a little bit of cardio. So again, my weak point areas, I always do this when I'm following a program. I, I tend to tailor things a little bit more specifically. So I, I am on the swole program and we have core and arms, but I'm also gonna be working in a little bit um, of cardio instead of doing cardio at the end of the workout and just 20 minutes of lifts. I get bored just doing abs for straight sets and doing cardio for just 20 minutes lifts unless I'm on the golf course. So today we're gonna be keeping the heart rate elevated. Abs are one of those things that are going to recover quicker than just about any other muscle group in the body. So when we train them, we need to train them with the right amount of volume and then the right amount of rest time. So a lot of times when I'm doing abs, it's gonna be superset, giant sets, even with other abs. But what we got, we got plank a minute, 100 jump ropes. One of my skill sets that I'm looking to improve on is just some jump rope. Um, I feel like it's just one of those things that also gets my calves. So I love not having to do as, as much calves because jumping rope burns out the calves and it even gives me a little bit of a shoulder pump. So we got three rounds, 100 jumps, one minute plank, and then we're gonna jump into some GHD and box jumps. Now, this one here again, Focusing on being explosive with the box jumps. I always like doing something athletic on a, at least one day a week. So trying to be athletic with some box jumps and then the GHD, that's really going to be the big ab movement for the day. I feel like it, it gasses me out. So basically we got box jumps and GHDs for three rounds. And then we're gonna finish into, into our, our burnout set, which is essentially a circuit. We got V-ups, bicycles, weighted sit-ups, Flutter kicks, Russian twists, mountain climbers, 400 meter run. And we're gonna do three rounds of that. And that's gonna consist of, core is gonna be wrecked at the end of that. And then also we're gonna have our heart rate up, probably over 150 for that entire thing. I'll rest in between each thing for about a minute. And then I'll jump into arms. Arms today is just gonna be on following basically the app. And we actually have some, some fascial pump stuff today. So gonna be a lot of volume on the arms. That's what we got today. I've already done my warm up, so We're gonna basically jump into our jump ropes and minute plank, let's go. gone through our core cardio and the first couple things of arms last thing we got fascial pump training so on this you're gonna want to pick a weight that feels really light to start because what we have is 10 sets 8 to 12 reps on each set and only 30 seconds rest so first thing I'm gonna do incline uh, incline dumbbell curl I only have 20s here again these first couple should be easy so I'm gonna hit out my prescribed number so let's go for 10 2 Three, four, five, six, seven. Get a good squeeze. Nine, ten. Okay, easy. Thirty seconds, and then we're back on. I got nine more sets. So as you can see, it's going to get really heavy, really quick. And we got the same thing for our tricep exercises, which is going to be bench dip. Two, three. Sorry, it's starting to feel so much heavier. a little bit here in between my 
last thing for triceps, but up over 10 pounds in the first four weeks. It's amazing actually what happens when you have a clear cut goal and you stay every day focused on what that is. And I think that's half of the battle is if you don't have a purpose when you step foot in the gym, there's gonna be an issue with that. So of course I like following a program, but more importantly, it's like if you're not seeing results all the time, Steve, I can't gain weight. Steve, I can't get lean. Steve, whatever it is, you have to have a clear cut goal. And that's something that you have to be purposefully driven every day to do something towards that goal. And so what I mean by that, my goal is to gain 20 pounds, 12 of that muscle in 12 weeks. So I have my 12 week goal. I then break it down. Okay, what's my week to week goal? What's my day to day goal? So yes, 12, 12 weeks is my elephant that I'm trying to chew off bite by bite. Bite by bite is the day to day. 12 weeks, 12 times seven. I mean, geez, we're well over 80 some days there. 80, 84 days, I think, is what I have on this. So each day I gotta make my masterpiece. Each day you can actually break that down into hour, even 20 minute segments. So when I step foot in here in the gym, it's really only about 90 minutes. I know I gotta hit my workout. I know I gotta, if I have cardio that day, I know I have mobility. All of those things have to be directed towards that bigger goal. And then when I step, and then outside the gym, I gotta be eating correctly. So if I know, if I wanna gain a pound a week, let's say, I know I have to be at 3,500 calories of surplus. I know I have to get my sleep. I know I have to get my hydration. If I don't do those little things, all that stuff starts adding up. And it's like this giant snowball. Little by little, you do the little details right and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it snowballs into where then you hit your goal. So if you're not seeing the results in the gym, look at it, okay, hey, have you clearly defined your goal? Are you putting in the intensity when you come into the gym? Meaning, are you on the phone? Are you talking? Are you distracted? Or are you 100% focused on what it is that you need to be doing? Do you know what you're working out that day? It's not enough to just come into the gym, float around. You have to have purpose-driven training. That's where the fitness culture app comes in. Purpose-driven training with a strength progression or a very sp specialized goal is going to get you started. And then take progress pictures. It's not enough to just see yourself. You see yourself every single day in the mirror. You're not gonna see those small changes. I put on 10 pounds in a month. Believe me, people are telling me I don't see those changes happening fast enough. But what I do is I weigh myself twice a week. Now I do this knowing that, hey, there's always a little bit of fluctuation, meaning time you go to the bathroom, how much water you have the day before, all these things calculate. But if I can weigh myself at the same time each and every single week, I know that bowel movements and everything else, if you're eating at pretty much the same time, working out, going to bed, everything kind of gets on a system. It's not gonna be necessarily a perfect linear graft, but I know that by weighing myself at the same time, each and every day or each and every week, I'm gonna see that progress happening in the way I should. Also, take measurements. What's your waist, chest, neck? Steve Reeves was a big proponent of taking measurements. You can't fool those. And then lastly, making sure that you're keeping track of your weights. And that's again, what we do in the fitness culture program. We have that, those maxing days, and then we work off of those maxes in each and every single workout. You can't cheat the weight. You come in, 200 pounds is always 200 pounds. It doesn't matter how you feel. So if one week you feel really good because you've been eating right, you've been doing all those next, all those great things. The next week you come in, that weight feels a lot heavier. You're gonna have to look yourself in the mirror. And if, it, if you're not able to do what you did the week before, or if it's way too heavy, you're not improving, you gotta start taking a look at, okay, am I really giving it everything I can? Or maybe you're cheating your sleep, maybe you're cheating your hydration. Maybe there's just a lot of stress in your life. Identify it, attack it, hit your goal. <laughs> between me and you you see i'm number one and you you number two it's a, a little different up here come see the view you're more like maybe next year i'm more like what it do i got it popping it's a champagne gang take it from me there ain't no champ without the pain take this from me you must be crazy in the rain all right that is it for today we got core just a little bit of cardio and just a ridiculous arm pump that we finished with some fascial pump training appreciate you guys being along for this journey. We'll see you guys next time.